found a way to make money just like the VCs do in crypto. Venture capital invested in Solana at 20 cents in 2018. Avalanche at 33 cents in 2019. And Near Protocol, one of my favorite projects, at 12 cents in almost 2020. These investments brought in an average of around 53,000% returns. Seed Hunter is a platform that allows you, the average retail investor who doesn't have hundreds of thousands of dollars or the connections to get private funding rounds access, a chance to get in where the VCs typically do. Even if it's just 50 bucks, 100 bucks, $200, you can find up and coming projects to invest in early and cash out big. I'm gonna give you a brief walkthrough of the Seed Hunter platform how to navigate it, how to use it to make money, and you can get access to early funding rounds for a Web3 game that just might be the next huge game. Now, a little background about Seed Hunter from the website here, and all the links I'm sharing will be in the uh, description of this video, so make sure to click those. So, Seed Hunter, essentially connecting projects, influencers, and retail investors. In short, if you're a project and you decide to launch, you can allocate a certain amount of your fundraising to retail investors. So it's a platform, think of it like a GoFundMe, where you have a platform that allows you to raise money, and once all the boxes are checked, then that money is released to the people that are looking to raise the money. So it protects you, the end user, and it protects the projects, keeps them in line, make sure that they're doing everything the correct way. So here from SeedHunter.com, this is a part of their funding module. So easy access to early stage fundraisers uh, from high potential Web3 project. Now it talks about curated projects only. So only top tier projects vetted through a rigorous due diligence process. I wanna stop there because when I spoke with the team, this was one of the most important questions I wanted to answer is, hey, if people are trusting you as a platform, how can I make sure that people watching, even myself, who's gonna be putting money into the funding rounds as well. How do I make sure that these projects on your platform are top of the line projects who aren't gonna take my money and run? And I have a few things written down that I got from the team and I don't wanna mess up, so I'm gonna read it. So uh, they told me projects apply to them. They analyze their business plan, their white paper, their token utility, marketing, social media presence, team expertise, community, the vision. They look over their tokenomics and if they encounter any red flags, uh, they not only don't accept them, but they try to work with the team if they do want to continue to be on their platform. They only accept projects that they trust and believe in. Uh, then what they do is they video interview the team. They get on a video call with the team. They ask them more in-depth questions, more technical questions to, uh, to get rid of any unclear points. And then once that is all clear, they get the thumbs up. The funding round is set up and the project detail page is created. That is where you, the end user, can log on and see all the different funding rounds that are happening on Seed Hunter. Uh, back to the webpage here, seamless participation, easy token-free participation with flexible investment sizes. As mentioned, even if you have only 50 bucks, let's say you wanna do a little more, you wanna do a couple thousand, 5,000, whatever the amount is, the idea is to give the same price point, the same thing that VCs have been doing over the last five, six, seven years and making an absolute killing, that is now coming to retail, automated and efficient, hassle-free with automated processes from registration to fund management and milestone-based security. Uh, contributions released based on verified project milestones for funding above 500,000. Now I mentioned the whole GoFundMe thing. This is, this is where it comes into play. The money is sitting there. Now, when will the team get the money? The team that is looking to raise? Well, once you hit the milestones that you said you're gonna hit, then we're releasing the money protecting the end user. A couple of things I've highlighted here from their website, uh, raising funds on Seed Hunter. Maybe you're watching and you're a project founder, or maybe you've been thinking about launching a project in the Web3 space or the cryptocurrency space. Uh, easy access to funds. Again, you can go the VC route, you can go the private equity route, but we know that the lifeblood of crypto right now is retail and to not give them any access to invest early in projects uh, it's not going to work out well. In fact, I think that is the the route we're going to leading into the future is retail investors being able to get in at these price points that the VCs do. Uh, efficient funding, automated workflow, reduced manual work with optimized automated setup. These are all services that they provide if you are looking to launch a project or if you're a project founder. Uh, one of the frequently asked questions here that I, that I want to highlight, and I mentioned it again, uh, and just to really hammer hammer down the point of how important security is, we implement multiple layers of security, including a rigorous due diligence process, 
which we went over already. Contributions are only transferred to projects after verified completion of predefined milestones, ensuring transparency and minimizing risk. Now, we talked about you as the end user, I just want to invest. You as a project founder, I want to launch a project and I want to get funding. There's also ways if you have an audience, whether you have a YouTube channel, you uh, got a big following on TikTok, on, uh, on Telegram, maybe on X, you can also make money as an influencer using your platform. How does that work? Uh, join now, close collabs and receive stable coins. Uh, what they essentially do is they match make certain KOLs, certain influencers, certain platforms with certain projects using AI and based on what the project is looking for and the parameters that the influencer or the person with the platform does have, they connect those together and now you're able to make money for your business, for yourself, promoting the projects that are listed on the Seed Hunter platform that we know have been vetted and are secure. Uh, again, AI-based compensation, fair pricing based on KPIs and project match, uh, user-friendly, which we'll go over the platform here in a second and talks about full service in only a few steps. Uh, after registration, you will have access to all active campaigns. So as a KOL, as an influencer, you log in, you see, Hey, these are the funding rounds going on. These are the projects that are trying to raise money. And these are the ones that are looking for influencers that are looking for marketing cooperation details during the booking process. You can check the goals of the project. You can see what is they're looking for and can you meet those standards, uh, close cooperation and deliver and get paid all handled on the seed hunter platform. You can also make money a fourth way. And the fourth way is to become an affiliate. So if you if you give anyone your, your personalized link and say, hey, you're a project, you need money, use this link, use Seed Hunter, and then you will get paid a uh, essentially a bounty fee, right? Or a referral fee. Uh, if you know any influencers, I know a lot of people from our community watching, I know you're tied into a bunch of influencers, a bunch of KOLs, content creators in our space. You can tell them, hey, found this platform. If you're looking for early funding rounds, here you go. Here's the link, sign up and you get paid as well. Again, all these links will be in the description of this video, which leads me to signing up super easy. You go to seedhunter.com, you click on login. You can see here, I have already created an account, but all you gotta do is click sign up here. You pick, do I wanna, do, am I signing up as a KOL? Am I signing up as a hunter? Which is, if you're watching and you say, hey, I just want access to these projects. I wanna be able to get in where the VCs got in. You're gonna to wanna to register as a hunter. And of course, if you're a project, there's a lot deeper vetting process going on there. So you can register as that as well. Uh, if I'm assuming most of you are only looking to get access to these projects, pre-funding, pre-public round. So you're gonna log in as a hunter. And I'm going to go back to the login page and actually log into my account as I have already created one and have been using it. Now, uh, this is the page. So you go to my account, you can see your personal information. You can click on your credits and see what kind of credits you have. Uh, we currently don't have any, but we plan on using, oh, look at that. We have $10 just by creating an account. I stand corrected. If you create an account, they'll give you 10 bucks. That'll go to your very first funding round. So if you put in 50 bucks, that's about 20% on top. So a 20% kicker there. So shout out to the Seed Hunter team. And then you click on the funding rounds. And this is where you'll see all the different funding rounds, all the projects that are looking to raise money. And the thing I love about this so much, I'm all about practicality, ease of use. Can I get all my information in one place? That is why Walmart grew so big. You can go to Walmart, you can buy groceries, you can buy pet food, you can buy car parts, you can buy clothes, you can buy games. Same thing, if I click on this details tab here, you can see, okay, their funding round is $100,000. They're about 40% reached. Uh, token price that you will get here. And of course, I'm using Space Mavericks, which in the beginning, I told you about a Web3 game that could potentially be the next big thing. Space Mavericks has everything that it takes to potentially be that next massive Web3 game. So looking at these Space Mavericks here, you can see here they're in the seed funding. Uh, they got a billion token supply, and it gives you the lockup and the vesting. Right, unlock around seven and a half percent once the token generation event goes live. Uh, gives you the vesting timeline, two months cliff, linear vesting unlock of 12 months after the cliff, and it tells you when the token is going to be released. So you can, at a glimpse, see, okay, they're raising 100 grand, this is the token price, and in this case, in the case of Space Mavericks, you can get in a sub one penny, and once it goes live to the public, it's gonna come out at one penny. So you already have around 
Uh, this is around 50, 40, we'll call it 50% already baked in to the price you're getting in at versus the price the public will get in at. So already got, uh, it's like buying a house and walking in with equity already built in. The cool thing here as well, like they got this, these sections where they break everything down for you. So elevator pitch, what is Space Mavericks all about is a truly unique real-time multiplayer game that recreates the classic artillery style of aiming and shooting by adjusting the angle and power. It mixes artillery games like Worms and Angry Birds with MOBAs like League of Legends or Dota 2. Space Mavericks, in a nutshell, is Worms on steroids or Angry Birds with guns and spaceship. I used to love playing Angry Birds. Can't wait to play this game. Uh, USP, so Space Mavericks is a real-time multiplayer game. Talks about their accessibility. No NFT requirement, uh, Web3 integration, and unique utility, meaning their uh, their Maverick token can be staked in order to get a multiplier, which boosts in-game chances of earning more of the MVRK token. Users who provide more value are given the chance to extract more value in comparison to free play players. Holding Space Mavericks NFTs also provides a boost based on the tier and rarity of the NFT. Now, I do want to share... This brief uh, trailer here from the Space Mavericks team, a little bit about the gameplay. And so here we go. This looks pretty cool. So that's just a little trailer, and uh, again, I will drop this trailer into the description of the video as well. Uh, and then on the bottom here, tokenomics, really, really important. We talk about, hey, what is a fully diluted market cap value? What is going to be the token amount, the hard cap? You can see here, everything is listed here, fully diluted, expecting to be around $12.5 million, the name of the token. Uh, how much of the tokens will be in circulation? This is $1 billion. The hard cap, the initial market cap, what phase they're in, uh, their funding goal, and the token price, and the token amount that they're going to be given out, and more details on the lockup and unlocked. And you can see here their marketing plan and how they plan on raising money. Uh, if you're looking for a, a, if you're looking to get exposure into gaming and you're looking to get into an early round access, early round as far as, hey, look, the public is going to get it at this price, but I want it cheaper, right? What if you have if you don't have connections or if you don't know anyone important, you're really not going to be able to get these chances. And so, what Seed Hunter allows you to do is find projects like Space Mavericks. Now, this thing, once it fills up, once it's at 100, uh, this will be closed, and the uh, the retail early funding will be done. So you still have around 60 percent left. So if this is something you've been looking for. Maybe it'll be your first time ever get into a pre-public sale, which I had mine a couple years ago. Very, very exciting to know you got in before anyone else was able to. I will drop that link in the description as well. And so that'll do it for the video today. What are your thoughts on Seed Hunter? Are you planning on using the platform? Uh, make sure to check out all the links in the description and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.